you can certainly be more efficient, but the fastest way to gain capacity is to like create it, you know? Yep. And there's, there's more than this, but automate huge. You so much efficiencies. And one of the times why people don't automate again, going back to the brain, that short-term pain that we think is going to happen is just so much more intense than seeing that long-term gain of the efficiencies. And so we often don't do it. It's just, it's almost like, you know, primeval brain that, hey, you know, I'm not going to do these things, short-term pain, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to, but they just have to get past that and realize, hey, I can save 500 hours in the next two right. years if I start automating. And and so automation, delegation, I know you're you're big with this as well, but delegate whether it's internally or outsource, you know, concentrate on the things you like. That's going to help you be more energetic with what you're doing and outsource either internally. You can outsource anything. Anything you do, someone else can do. Find the things you today. don't. Yep, Especially exactly. Today. Yep. And so, and then the third thing is elimination, which you just said. You know, get rid of those clients that cause you stress that you just don't want to deal with, that uh, you just have too many overall and you have to pick the. I mean, obviously, the C and D clients are something you should be looking at all the time, anyways. But maybe there is some that, that are, are better and you find a, uh, maybe it's just not your personal, you know, passion to deal with them. You, you find someone else that can can help them. So there's plenty of things you can do uh, to to help yourself be more productive and happier with what you're doing your job. Yeah, yeah. 